Hey Christ Church, one of my favorite post-resurrection stories is in John chapter 20, where the disciples are in the upper room on that first Easter Sunday evening. The doors were locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, and I imagine the disciples were scared, confused, and uncertain about what the future held for them. Sometimes I feel the same way myself. I have received a new appointment and have been called to serve as pastor of discipleship and community formation at Marvin United Methodist Church in Tyler, Texas, effective July 1. When I was first ordained and before we knew where we would be appointed, Leanne and I wanted to plant roots in a community and serve for the long haul. At the time, we were hoping for at least seven to eight years. We got 21 years here with you at Christ Church. In the midst of COVID-19, in the midst of isolation and self-quarantine, in the midst of transition and moving, there's so much fear and uncertainty over the unknown. When will our lives return to normal? What will that new normal look like? What does the future hold? That fear encompasses all of our emotions, including sadness and joy, and the expression of those emotions, even the articulation of them, is not a sign of weakness or a lack of faith. It is the price of love. I love you deeply, but more than that, Christ loves you. The one thing Jesus promised his disciples on that first Easter Sunday evening is the same thing he promises us his presence. He will be with us. He is with us. And the one thing his presence brings us is the very first word he spoke to his disciples when he first appeared to them, peace. And in between that word of peace and the promise of his presence, Jesus gave a purpose. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. The beauty of our Christian faith is that our God is resurrection and life. His power and presence is available to us. It has the power to change us and our circumstances. And the beauty of resurrection means that there is new life. I'm excited to think about the new life breathed into Christ Church in the next few weeks, months, years. I'm excited for the Holy Spirit to blow and breathe new life into me and my family and our ministry. I'm excited about the new that will transpire in Tyler at Marvin Church. And I'm excited that we are a part of something bigger than ourselves, the body of Christ. We are disciples of Jesus Christ, members of and participants in the kingdom of God. So as he leads us, May God also find us faithful. Come Holy Spirit. Amen.